Okay everyone, um, today I'm going to be adding a new pipe and a condenser and a new rotor arm to my Spitfire as I feel like that's part of the issue it's been um, called it by it's been cutting out on me uh, as of late and I've had to get it recovered a couple of times a couple of the people in the uh, group that I'm a member of the Triumph Spitfire Restoration and Support um, helped me out with this they gave me a bit of advice I suggest if you have one of these cars you uh, join the group on Facebook everyone's really friendly and like helpful and it's it's a good way to get advice especially if you're unsure about anything but um, as you can see it was a uh, pretty much quite a uh, mess in my uh, distributor I've already replaced the distributor cap uh, put in the plug leads in the correct order I, I did one by one uh, so I made sure that it, they're all in the correct position because if you uh, well if you mess up your time and your engine ain't going to run properly but as you can see there's the new cap there's the old one the old one was mucky on the inside and the outside it's got all fresh it's all, it's all clean and fresh on the inside of there but yeah so if you're having an ignition problem this is probably where you want to start because uh, usually we have a pair of points in here and it can sometimes be the gap in the in between uh, these two little pads here sometimes there's a gap or a bit of corrosion in there and that can cause you to misfire or maybe even your engine not at all because it might not be getting a strong enough spark anyway so what I'm basically going to do now is I'm going to clean out this and then I'll, uh, well, I'll, I'll show you when it's done <laughs> well I'll show, I'll show you once it's all as you can see it's not quite perfect but that's cleaned it up a lot better than it was I've now noticed this little oil uh, arrow thing here which I presume means that that's like a little oil journal maybe but uh, yeah uh, as you can see this is your earth cable which connects up to your coil and then that would be one of the first things that you plug into your points when you start I'll go and uh, grab the condenser and put that in and then I'll be back in the yeah, condenser fits around there I've kept the screws off to one side just put them on the bulkhead where I know they're safe and then I can fix it back in place but as you can see the condenser will just go there well, uh, it seems like it's got these two little rivet things to hold it in the correct place I'll um, quickly screw that in and then I'll be back ok everyone, I decided that this is slightly misshapen and it wasn't sitting in properly, it was actually fouling on the um, cam on the rotor so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the old one I'm going to use the clamp from it and put it around the new condenser unit However, and I found the reason it was foul when it wasn't the clamp it actually turns out that the uh, new part doesn't quite fit it's slightly larger diameter so for now because I can't leave my car outside I'm going to fit the old condenser but this will be something that I'll come back to at a later date but uh, this is the trouble with new parts and pattern parts they're not they don't always fit the same but oh well we'll continue anyway well the old condenser back in but um we've got a fair bit of clearance there now that isn't going to fall I would say well this is the stuff you've got to look out for especially when working on these older cars because uh, the parts sometimes are just not right it's better to put an original part in if you can get one but as they're getting rarer and rarer sometimes you have to put new parts in but you've just got to be careful right i'm now going to continue with putting the points in and then well the new points in because now they are the same because an easy way of checking this is you put them next to each other and as you can see they're the same i've got my original points here and then my new ones 
So I'll put those in now and then I'll show you how to adjust them. So the, I had a bit of trouble getting there. Is I took the main body bit out and that, well I put the took the little point bit out. Uh, there's you can see the little terminal bit. And I put the main body in and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend this round, uh, put the spring under a bit of tension and then put it in. And then in the other hand for this guy, so I'll just quickly put the guys. So I've just fast uh, put the put the uh, points in and I've connected up those two wires there, you've got your earth wall and then your cable to your condenser. Um, now I'm going to adjust it by altering these two screws until I have the correct gap in between them there. Um, I'm going to do this from memory but it's best if you get a feeler gauge and then if you have your hands workshop manual. Um, I'll, put, I'll put in the description the exact sort of measurement you're supposed to have there or if not and then you basically put the feeler gauge in there until it's, there's a slight drag on it but I haven't got a feeler gauge on me so I'm going to do it by eye and then uh, yeah so you've got if you twist these two screws down that one fastens it down and as you can see there's quite a gap there but ideally you need two screwdrivers because you can adjust the uh, gap if you see there. I'm going to quickly do this and then I'll show you when it's all complete. 